Some commercial fishermen on Long Island Sound are seeing green now in hauling in something other than fish. That's right. News 8's Tina Detail goes out on the water to check out the new catch of the day. They often call fishermen farmers of the sea, and you can't get much closer to that than with this. After hurricanes Irene and Sandy hit, Brent Smith lost 90% of the oysters, mussels, and scallops he harvests off Branford's Thimble Island. So that's when I realized I actually had to change the way I was growing and the species I was growing. And boy, did he. Smith decided to try his hand at growing kelp. Quite honestly, it's easier to grow plants than animals. So far, so good. It's helped him sustain his livelihood and the waters where the kelp is grown. Our kelp soaks up five times more carbon than land-based plants. We started as this tiny little seed on the ropes, and then, you know, within a couple months, it grows into these beautiful uh, blades. Smith has opened a processing plant in the Fairhaven section of New Haven. Look at that green color, huh? Where he lives and where he wants to help the economy grow. Now it looks like a vegetable. He's hoping kelp finds its way onto more dinner plates. And there's the spaghetti of the future. <laughs> and is treated more like a vegetable than a seafood. Our idea is to desushify it. He now has orders for half a million pounds. Al dente. A lot more than he grows, which is why he is helping others start ocean farming through his nonprofit Green Wave. Nick Pastor just got his first 15 acres. I love it. I grew up on the water, so it's like combining two of my passions. Perhaps the wave of the future. This sugar kelp has certainly been a sweet change for this fisherman. I never would have guessed as a commercial fisherman I'd be growing plants. Looks just like green linguine. Now, once this stuff is bagged, vacuum sealed, and frozen, it can last up to five years in the freezer. In the Fairhaven section of New Haven, Tina Detell, News 8.